but I wouldn't. Oh God, sorry. <laughs> I wouldn't have been here now if it weren't for Tracy and all your services. Nicola is a mother of triplets. She turned to Salford Women's Aid three years ago to escape her abusive partner. The prospect of her local service now being cut in a matter of weeks is frightening. So in a few weeks, I won't have anything um, after all these years. And, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's just Salford. There's going to be nothing in Salford and they don't get it. The decision to remove funding from Women's Aid in Salford was made by the council, which claims over the next five years, £4 million will be invested into services to prevent and tackle domestic abuse. The contract has been awarded to charity Salford Foundation. But for women like Nicola, who have relied on Women's Aid for over 40 years, the change is unwelcome. It's like, what's going to happen on the 1st of April? Like, is there some, like, changeover? How many people are then going to learn to slip through the gap of going somewhere else? And, yeah, that's just what's scary. Last night, a meeting held by Women's Aid discussed how to campaign for the services to continue. Dawn Redshaw is the charity's fundraising manager. Salford have been given 686,000. So why, I want to know, why are we, if they're already getting money in Manchester, over a million, and Trafford are already getting money, why are we giving our Salford money to Trafford and Manchester? But councillor David Lancaster said the new service will make it easier for people to reach out for help, avoid having to repeat their story to different organisations and provide more specialist and holistic support. The Salford MP, Rebecca Long-Bailey, attended the meeting, expressing her support to Salford Women's Aid. I'm not happy about the way the process was run. I think it looks as if Salford Women's Aid was treated very unfairly. We saw a domestic violence spike yeah. because of the lockdown. The numbers of people that were coming here for help was unprecedented. For Nicola, the impact Salford Women's Aid has had on her life will not be forgotten. They've completely saved my life and my kids' life and just helped us with everything. Polly Luscombe, Salford Now.